Hello, my friend, and welcome to another income report. I've been doing these videos lately because I want to share with you what's possible when it comes down to earning money with stock libraries. Now, I'm doing this video quickly here early morning. I'm here with my younger daughter, Melina. She's watching some cartoons in the background. And uh, this is almost like going back to the beginnings. This is how I got started here on Stock Music Licensing YouTube channel, just vlogging while I was taking care of my daughters. First, with Fedra, my younger, my eldest daughter, who's now 13. She doesn't need to be taken care of anymore, but you can go and watch those videos. This is how I got started here. So I'm kind of like going back to the beginnings, sharing a little bit more behind the scenes, not only with what I do as a stock music composer, stay at home dad, that's how I presented myself back in the day. And in a way, I am still a stay at home dad because I am still here. I'm still working from home. I'm still making music, doing YouTube videos. I have grown over the years in uh, different areas of the content creation space. I have a new YouTube channel, by the way, go and check it out. Link in the description so you can go and check out that uh, YouTube channel that I'm growing slowly. And But I wanna share with you here very quickly my income reports. And before I get into it, I just wanna say something because I know that some of you are new to music licensing and I've been getting messages and comments like, hey, Audio Jungle is a library that's not taking new composers. Hey, I can't upload music to Envato Elements because Envato Elements, you need to be invited. It's true, in music licensing, some libraries, they just have the doors closed and in stock libraries, this happens. Audio Jungle is a great example of this. Now, the only reason what I'm sharing right now in the last few videos, my income on Audio Jungle and Envato Elements is because of the data and because Audio Jungle is the first library that I ever joined when I first got started in music licensing. I understand that a lot of people are not in Audio Jungle. I understand that even if you were in Audio Jungle, that doesn't mean that you're gonna be able to sell your music with Envato Elements. I understand that. The reason why I'm sharing this data with you is to show you what is possible. I am not the best seller on either library, either Audio Jungle or Envato Elements, but I am sharing what I'm doing and how you can do the same thing in other libraries, all right? And it gives you an idea of what the income potential is. Now, that being said, when you approach a sync library, if you wanna join and submit your music in order for your music to get placed, you're gonna to have to go through the same process. Most of the sync libraries do not even have somewhere where you can submit your music. You have to send an email, you have to have somebody on the inside, you have to build relationships, and you have to really chase it up in order to even be considered to become a composer. And even if you did manage to get inside a sync library, you're, you still have no guarantee that your music is gonna get placed. This is the reality of music licensing. So. I am part of Audio Jungle, but I am not part of Artlist, for example. I've been rejected by Artlist, right? But I have friends who are doing great with Artlist. They're actually doing very, very good. That doesn't mean that the music licensing industry does not work. One library might work for you, another library might work for me. So this is the purpose of this video, to show what's possible on a particular library but at the same time, what can be possible for you if you happen to work on another library? I have friends who are on Artlist doing fantastic. I have friends who are doing very well on Motion Array. I am part of Motion Array, and Motion Array is not a library that really works for me. That being said, I haven't really uploaded much music, so the fault goes on me. I am the one to blame if I'm not being successful on any particular library. Now, why am I saying this? I am saying this because I know there's a lot of frustration. I know that you feel frustrated. I know that you feel that, hey, I wanna do the same thing that you're doing, Daniel. I wanna, I wanna do the same thing that your friends are doing, but I can't get in. I can't get in into Artlist. Getting inside a library like Artlist is very, very tough. It's very, very hard. The bar has been raised so much that it's nearly impossible to get in. That, is it impossible? No, you can still get in into Artlist and you can still do very, very well. But the reason why I'm sharing here my sales and the data on Audio Jungle is because the way it's being presented as well. It's very clear that you can see how much I'm earning, especially with Envato Elements. That gives me like a daily report of downloads because it's a subscription library. And this is what I wanna share with you. How much have I earned on any given day when it comes down to downloads, especially in a subscription library that a lot of people kind of like have a lot of hate towards subscription library, but I really like the way Envato Elements uh, is breaking down the, that income. So let me just get into it. So here you can see now 
that it's the 10th of August as I am recording this, okay? And, and on Envato Elements, again, it's a subscription library, there's a month of delay when it comes down to calculating the income. Now here you can see that it's 160 uh, dollars that I have earned so far. I did a video a few days ago and that number was less than that, okay? I'll have to go and see that video, maybe put it here on when I'm editing this video so you can see the difference. What happens between a few days? Now, the, the income report of this is from the 1st of July to the 7th of July, okay? So that gives you an idea of what I've earned in July, okay? Again, there's a month of delay. I say I'm recording this video, it's the 10th of August, but we're, they are processing the downloads from July, all right? So there's one month of delay. So I've done so far $160 on Envato Elements alone, all right? So this is subscription, this is all downloads, and what I've done on my last day, daily earnings is $24. This changes all the time. Uh, yesterday I checked and it was much less than that. I think it was like $12 or $14. So now on a daily basis, this can fluctuate quite a lot. Okay, so that's with Envato Elements. When I go to Audio Jungle, obviously sales have been very slow since last time I did that video where I made a, a big license, okay? So I've only had one sale since then. So yeah, that big sale was on the 4th of August, sorry, on the 2nd of August. I had another two sales, one on the 4th of August and the other one on the 10th of August, which was today actually. Yeah, today is the 10th of August. So I sold this track today. So this is a Latin track, it's quite a good track, but it's a brand new track. I uploaded it right now in April of this year. Uh, the, the price, I'm trying to stay competitive and I hate to use that word competitive uh, because I believe in creation. I don't believe in competition. I know this might sound a little bit cheesy to you for those of you who are very competitive. Uh, I do believe in creation. I, you, you cannot compete with my music because it's my music. Even though I can show you everything that I have learned along the way when it comes down to music creation for music licensing, you're gonna be successful because of your music, because of the way you compose your music. I can give you the blueprint, I can show you this, and, and you have to do your own thing. That's, that's, that's the secret. There, there is no other shortcut when it comes down to music licensing. Again, for those of you who are new to music licensing, and you would like to learn more about this, I have a whole bunch of free resources, link in the description for that. If you feel that one library works best for you, then that's amazing. And that's what, you, that's what you're gonna find in this journey of music licensing. The same applies for sync libraries, by the way. Whether you're dealing with stock libraries, subscription libraries, sync libraries, production libraries, it's all music licensing, but you're gonna see that some composers are doing very, very well with one particular library. I know this from experience. I've been doing this for years. The only reason why I like to share my journey, especially with this particular library, Audio Jungle, is because this is where I got started. So for me, my home is this. And again, I'm not even the best seller and I do very well for myself. I do share other income reports with other libraries like Pond5, Melody Loops, for example. When I talk about Melody Loops, which is a small library, great library, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people do not get in. The libraries might be closed. I have no control over what Audio Jungle does. Some of you are in Audio Jungle and not, not even making any sales. So all I'm saying here is that don't let your mindset get in the way of you doing what you wanna do. The only reason why I'm still doing this today and I'm still doing this type of vlogs with my kid in the background watching cartoons is because I love what I do. And the reason why I'm being successful with music licensing is because of my attitude. Now, I'm not saying before you get all shaky, I'm not saying that you have a bad attitude, but after years of coaching musicians and composers, one of the things that I can say to you right now that the main problem that composers and musicians have when it comes down to music licensing is not the mix and it's not the master, it's their mindset. So I think that we need to work really on our attitudes and say, hey, this, this library is closed, you know, it doesn't, it's not gonna work for me, all right? But I see what's possible. Go try Artlist. Let me know if you can get into Artlist and see how well do you do there. I had a friend of mine who once submitted to Music Vine, I believe it was, and he said he got rejected like five, no, I think it was eight times. And then he applied again, and then he actually made it, all right? So you have to see that, that a lot of people are not willing to, to do whatever it takes in order to succeed in anything, quite frankly. Whether you wanna get fit, 
whether you want to build an online business, whether you want to, you know, play an instrument, learn a language, you know, it just requires a lot of effort. Now, if this library is closed, I'm just showing you this so you can see what's out there. If you want to see other libraries, I got all the libraries in the link in the description. I have a guide, all the list of all the libraries. But very quickly here will be Audio Jungle, Pond5, Melody Loops, Art List, Motion Array, just to name a few, Motion Elements. You know, there's so many out there, right? Some of them close their doors, okay? They just, they don't do very well, that like in any business. And some of them are still going strong. There are many advancements when it comes down to music licensing, but it's a marketplace. There is a business, you know? A lot of us are talking about this online. And we cannot guarantee that you're going to get successful with either Audio Jungle or Artlist or a sync library for that matter, which is which is arguably harder to get in. If you want to get started in music licensing, starting with stock libraries is by far the easiest way. Anyways, I'm going to be making more videos like this, a little bit of uh, behind the scenes of my income report, and I will certainly share more of how much I'm earning. I'm not going to do a daily vlog like, hey, I earned two quid with a sale, but I just wanted to just pop in here very quickly and share with you what's going on. Uh, I will jump maybe into other libraries maybe, and see how the income is going there so you can see what's possible. But, you know, some of you guys are not on motion elements. Some of you guys are not in Melody Loop. Some of you guys, I can't share my income on Artlist. I believe my friend Stevie B has done that already. He's a great example of how well you can do on a library like Artlist, right? So it, it's all about seeing what's possible. So. If it's possible for me, or if it's possible for Stevie B, or for Eric, okay? And by the way, I'm gonna be talking to these guys uh, very, very soon. I'll share more here on the channel. You know, both of these guys are doing great stuff when it comes down to music licensing. And they both have YouTube channels sharing their knowledge with you guys about music licensing and music production and whatnot, right? So what I'm saying here is that we first have to have a positive outlook when it comes down to what is possible for us to make money with, with our music. I hope this video finds you well, my friend. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in another video.